Welcome to our video concerning protective coating process selection. My name is Helmut Schweigert and in the next few minutes I will explain several critical items you should consider when choosing a protective coating. Due to harsh environment conditions, more and more assemblies are coated for protection. Of course, there are some points you should be aware of when it comes to coating. For example, the edge deflection and the overall coating coverage are typical deficiencies resulting from the coating process. Thus, the challenge is how to avoid such issues. The guideline of the Society of Corrosion Protection and the IPC Handbook and the CC Standard 830 provide assistance and how to comprehensively coat. First, you will choose the type of coating which fits best for the operational conditions of your assembly. For this, you use the specification data sheets from the manufacturers. The coating application itself is a complex interaction between material, machine and the flash off as well as the drying process. To prove the reliability of the coating process and therefore the reliability of the assembly, the GF Core guideline recommends the coating reliability test. Let's have a look at this method. The core test is a further development of the 830 water droplet test. The assembly is immersed in water and placed under electrical voltage. The core test activates deficiencies like male edge covering, porosity or insufficient bonding between coating and surface. At these points some bubbles will appear over time. After a maximum of 30 minutes, the weakness in the coating, as indicated by the bubble, will become apparent. This allows us to identify where we have to improve our coating process setup parameters. So, let me summarize the last few minutes. GFCore and IPC standards are helpful for process selection and control. Comparison of coating material data and process setup assisted by the coating reliability test are the first steps to reliable coated assemblies. The coating reliability test is also a helpful tool for process quality control.